Hello, I am Misty Winkler from SimplifiedOrganization.com and I am author of Simplified Dinners, my strategy for taking the thinking out of the entire menu planning process. And my latest resource is a free menu planning sheet, which could be used as a printable, but because I am also author of Paperless Home Organization, a way to use Google Calendar, Remember the Milk, and Evernote, those programs, to keep your home organized digitally, it's important to me to be able to keep my plans digital and not be printing a bunch of paper that at my house just usually gets destroyed very quickly or lost. I'm not likely to lose my laptop. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to save a PDF into Evernote. And the cool thing about my menu plan PDF is that it's editable you can actually go in and fill in those blanks and save it all digital with your information filled in. So I'm going to show you how that works. So I'll just get my screen share going here. And here is the PDF. Now, it looks just like a normal file, but you can click into any of these blanks and start filling it in. So this menu plan sheet has spaces to plan all three meals. Uh, often we plan only dinner, but it turns out these people want to eat three times a day and not only once. So it's good to have a plan for all three meals. That doesn't mean everything has to be different every day, so I'm just going to go in here and fill in a basic menu plan. Granola and yogurt, that's often our breakfast for weekdays, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. Get this filled in. Hmm. Then pancakes on Saturday. Sunday cinnamon rolls, then lunch, we are, we can have rolls and cheese and apples and that's a common lunch at our house, so I'll just cut and paste that into here, hmm, looks like that fried is messed up, I will fix that. So, and let's put leftovers on Sunday. Okay, now planning dinner, you have a little bit more space and guidance here for planning dinner. So you've got your main dish, a side or a starch, and a veggie or a salad. So you can plan all, um, all the parts of your meal to make sure you have a complete dinner. And you know, if, you only, if your main dish is an all-in-one meal, just put it in the main but this is here to help you remember to think about those different categories and make sure you get enough vegetables and a complete dinner. Now this weekly pattern here is something that I'm kind of excited about. This is something you can come in and type in your routine, your dinner routine. Uh, and um, I usually change mine seasonally or when something comes up that, that stops working. But you can come in here and say something like, every Monday we're going to have chicken. Tuesday it's going to be, I'm going to do something with tortillas. Simplified Dinners has four different kinds of tortilla dinners and then variations within each of those four. So there's a lot of variety there. Wednesday's a busy day, so I'll do crock pot dinners. Thursdays is whatever. Fridays is pizza, homemade pizza. So then up here, I could put which variation from simplified dinners I'm going to make. I usually make the no mess version. That's a sauceless pizza. Then Saturday, we often have hamburgers. And Sunday is uh, appetizers, bread and cheese, and vegetables. So you can come in here, and then when you come to plan your meal, 
you don't have to start totally from scratch. You already have narrowed it down and you can make a meal plan that has variation every week but that doesn't take a lot of thinking, a lot of time. Um, then, so let's say we filled this all in and now instead of printing it, we can actually save it into Evernote and it's really easy to do that. You come in to File, Print, then, let's see, we don't want, we want it printed that way, and then down here at PDF, it says Evernote. I just click that, and it pops up. It automatically puts it into Evernote, into my default notebook, which is called Inbox, and there you have it. There's my menu plan. I can name it up here, give it a week, a date. I could even say this is um, the menu plan for the second week in April, and then once you have a whole year, you can just start cycling through those and not have to even make a menu plan again. And they're saved there. You're not going to lose them. They're not going to get coffee spilled on them. And also, if they're saved in Evernote, they're searchable. So you can search in Evernote for um, hamburgers, and it would pull this up. It would pull up all your menu plans that have hamburgers. You could search menu plan, and all your menu plans that you have saved would pop up. So say you, uh, say it was, you had a turkey, you could, and you had a bunch of menu plans already saved, you can then come search in Evernote for turkey and find out the menu plans that you have to use up those turkey leftovers. So you're kind of creating yourself a resource and making the best use of your planning time by being able to reuse it. Now, when I first came in to try to do this, uh, Evernote was not on my options for printing. So to get that there, I had to. I came here, PDF, and Evernote was not here on this menu. So I went to Edit Menu and hit the plus, and then came and up here searched for Evernote, selected it, and it popped it into that menu plan. That's all I had to do and then we have the option to save to Evernote. So that was really easy to get that option there, even if it isn't um, by default installed. So that is how, that is how to save in Evernote. And I hope that you can um, use that information to make yourself a good plan. Take some thinking out of the dinner making process, and um, you can find Simplified Dinners or this menu plan at simplifiedpantry.com. Thanks.